Hey, what's up guys? It's Garrett here. In this video, we're going to talk about what is an itemized receipt and how it might help you save thousands on your medical bills. So let's just dive on into it. The other day I was scrolling through TikTok and I came along one where a woman claimed that she could get her thousand dollar medical bill down to $750 by simply asking for an itemized receipt. And then I started thinking to myself, what really is an itemized receipt? And is this true that all you have to do is simply just ask for a receipt and your medical bill could be dropped just like that? So after doing a little bit of research, I found that most hospitals do not like you seeing what you're being charged for up front because they don't want you to realize that they're charging you stupid amounts of money for a simple thing such as a band-aid. And then by simply asking for an itemized receipt, it forces the hospital to take a second look at what you're being charged for to see if there are any stupid charges because they don't want you to confront them on why you're being charged 50 bucks for a band-aid. But now what happens when you get your itemized receipt back and there was nothing that was taken off and you're billed the exact same amount? Well, first off, Take a look at what services are being billed for. Make sure there are no duplicates. Make sure that you are being billed for the correct services. There is a lot of examples out there that people were billed for something at a much higher rate than what other hospitals around the area are charging for. And one way to figure that out is you can go to fairhealthconsumers.org and take a look at what hospitals and doctors are being paid for these services around your area. But the key question here is, is this just a rare occurrences that hospitals are overcharged? or they're accidentally charging for something that you never use or are they really trying to get some extra money out of your insurance companies or out of yourself so I went to Twitter to try to find out some answers to see if anybody else is going through the same thing that the girl on TikTok went through so here are some tweets of some people saying that they were able to get their hospital bills from a lot down to a little so the first one we have here is Naomi and she says that LMFA, dude, I told my homegirl to do this after I saw that video, and her bill went from $500 to $45. Did A. And then Harmon Everett here said, I asked for an itemized bill, and they had charged me four times for the use of the room over a four hour visit. Once for every time I went back to it after going to x ray, the bathroom, blood tests, and first entry. And then somebody commented under that, is this really true? And he replied, yes, the original bill for the four-hour visit where I got an x-ray, a diagnosis of pneumonia, and some antibiotics was 13000 After some months of arguing with insurance and their billing, they said if I showed up with $900 within an hour, they would consider the bill paid. And then we have the last one here, Naomi, and she says, since hospitals normally charge insurance companies, they'll go out of their way to charge for the smallest things, such as napkins. So itemizing, it takes off the extra charges that weren't really necessary. After seeing all that, the key takeaway here is the next time that you go to the ER or the hospital, make sure you ask for an itemized receipt. Don't overpay for the products and services that you use. Also, if you do have insurance, make sure you find out what your insurance company is paying for so they don't take full advantage of you. That's all that I got for you guys, and if you enjoyed the video or you think you took something away from it, all that I ask is if you push that like button, and I will see you on the next one.